How are you doing today, folks? First off, like, subscribe, share, and most importantly, comment, because I want to talk to all of you. Now today, I have a video for you on the Holt Haptic. This is a full custom knife lent in by my friend Antic7 on Instagram. It is an expensive knife. It is a coveted knife. It's kind of a rare knife. On secondary market, these go for anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. Very expensive knife, kind of hard to come by. You can definitely find them, but you have to really, really look and kind of get lucky because they sell out quickly. Now, unlike most of my other videos, this is not going to be a hard use review. However, I definitely have used this thing. I've carried it quite a bit, and honestly, I have quite a few things to say about it, both good and bad. But because this is not my knife, I don't go around hammering other people's knives in the tables or treating them like absolute pieces of crap the way I treat my knives. This is going to be a gentler review, but still very much in depth. Hopefully you enjoy. Now, first things first, this knife either appeals to you because of its weird, crazy color scheme, textured, vibrant handles, vaguely Star of David pivot, and all the crazy pieces of detail. This knife also either appeals to you or does not appeal to you based on the price tag, which again is quite high. But no matter what camp you fall under, you cannot deny that the action on the Holt Bladeworks haptic is a thing of beauty. How this knife closes to me is genuinely insane. The action, I felt better, but the closing, man, the closing, the beautiful, butter smooth, drop down, perfect hydraulic close, there's nothing like it. The beautiful, the functional, Warren Cliff blade on the Holt haptic is a thing of beauty as well. It is not the best cutter I've ever had, but damn if it does not feel good in hand. Job site to the office. This thing is a genuine and true joy to cut with, to use, and to just overall experience that wonderful grind. Beautifully designed with minimal milling, a comfortable landing zone. And that all combines with a fantastic detent, which makes a knife that I personally cannot fail no matter what I do. And I've tried pretty hard. The downside to that being on my hand right here, as you can see, while deploying this knife because it is bound and determined to come out of this piece right here, it will deploy even if your hand is there. And this very sharp tip even though it is rounded over in a sheep's foot pattern, will still cut you, and this thing cuts very, very well. To be clear, that's more of an operator error and not a fault of the knife, more just my personal stupidity, but it does still bear mention, though that's almost a compliment for the knife. As all you uh, knife aficionados know, we all get cut while we play with our knives. It's almost a badge of honor. So the fact that the Holt haptic bites does not bother me at all. Now, while the deployment is very good, the disengagement is the best I've ever felt by far. People like to rave about the Norseman, but the Norseman has sloppy detent. When it drops down, it goes bing, bing, bing. Now the Norseman is still a great knife, but to be very clear, as far as just the actual action, I think the Holt haptic has it by a landslide. The Norseman has a free fall action. The Holt has a almost like gliding on two panes of glass rapidly action. Like it just feels very, very smooth. And the combination of the deployment as well as the retraction make this knife absolutely fantastic as far as action goes. 10 out of 10. I really and truly have zero complaints. And I'm sure either will you. As far as ergonomics with my size 2XL hands, I am required to use this flipper tab as a finger choil, which as you might have guessed, given it's not actually a finger choil, is not comfortable. If I do use just a regular grip, I do have a finger sticking off. That's also not comfortable. So I prefer to be up here, though again, not comfortable, but it is the lesser of the two evils, I guess. The Holt Haptic is very much a smaller knife, so if you do have smaller hands, honestly, I'm sure the ergonomics on this will be fantastic. This nice swoop right here perfectly cradles this finger and everything else just wraps around. 
You really can't feel the clip at all, though there is a small hot spot right along this piece right here. As well as right here, even though the knife is contoured and there is no hot spots right here, there's also a hot spot somehow. I don't know how that works. There's nothing here sticking out, nothing that should be poking into you, but it very much does, so that's to be noted. So while the Holt haptic is way the hell too small for my size 2XL hands, if you have regular size hands, be it XL, large, medium, small, I'm sure this knife will fit you perfectly and you will love the ergonomics. Me personally, they're just kind of eh. All right, now as always, the aesthetics are very much personal preference. My style might not be your style or vice versa, so take this all with a grain of salt. As far as the actual gold, I like a bronze. This is very much a gold, almost like a tarnished gold. Personally, I'm not really a fan. I love the color purple, but I like a dark purple, like a royal purple. So this style does not really appeal to me at all. However, this gorgeous, nicely textured milling is, feels fantastic in hand. It also gives it a nice futuristic and honestly expensive slash premium look, which given the price tag, honestly, I would expect no less. It really is fantastic though. To get all of this crazy milling work on these actual scale must have took a whole lot of CNC and I respect the dedication to get it all done proper. The pivot looks proprietary, but it's not. You have a standard Torx head, which is fantastic. The only real branding is this very subtle M390 marking on the top of the blade. Otherwise, it is sterile on both sides. There is a matching backspacer, which fits the clip, hardware, and this being a custom knife, all of these things can be modified to your liking. So this one is not really my thing, but it might be yours. And if I ever decide to order one, I can make one completely up to my specifications, which is a beautiful thing. And is and will always be the primary appeal of a full custom knife, making your knife truly your knife. Also, huge shout out to this beautiful mirror stone wash. I love a good polished stone wash. It's such a beautiful, functional, and honestly, genuinely striking finish. I love it. So here we have some of my absolute favorite EDC sized customs. Though if you notice the theme, they are all still bigger than the Holt Haptic. And that is because this knife is very much geared, built, and specced out for pure EDC. And in regards to that role, it does a genuinely fantastic job. It balances weight, size, and carry ratio in such a perfect and complete way that overall, the knife just works in every regard 360 degrees at least in regards to general EDC. Now, in regards to my overall personal score on the Holt Knives Haptic, I think this knife is a beautiful, functional piece of art and is honestly a fantastic knife, though it is not for me personally. There are certain choices and design functions of this knife that do not fit my philosophy of use and or carry as well as the ergonomics for my size 2XL hands are just kind of lackluster. To be clear, this is still a fantastic knife. While it might not fit me, it could definitely fit you. But for my overall personal EDC score, this is gonna get a seven out of 10. Now, to be very clear, that is only my personalized score using my personal biases, preferences, and things that some knives just won't fit. However, a generalized EDC score for the Holt Knives Haptic is going to be a, you guessed it, 10 out of 10. This is a fantastic knife. It perfectly balances the size weight carry ratio. You can customize it, build it, brand it, flip it, drop it, drop shut it that is. And it does it all and balances it all perfectly. If you are in the custom market, if you have the money to spend, and if you do want a perfectly sized EDC, I highly, highly recommend with all my heart the Holt Knives Haptic. Because as far as just a pure overall EDC knife, I really have nothing bad to say. On this one, simply put, the hype truly is real. At least again, as far as EDC and or your small knife needs. Now, before I say goodbye, big shout out once again to Antic7 on Instagram. If you would be so kind, go on and give that man a follow because he definitely deserves it. He also does some damn fine Anna work. This thing still blows me away with how beautiful it is. 
Now, as always, folks, I love you all with all of my heart. I appreciate you. The world is crazy right now. Let's do the best you can to be safe. As always, I love you all. Take care and bye bye